Hi folks, I'd like to welcome you to another episode on Busyness TV. This is the Busyness TV show, the show dedicated to helping you to get out of busyness and get down to business. Today's episode is brought to us by ListPing.com. ListPing is an email management and autoresponder service geared to helping you to build email lists that are responsive and big. So create an account right now for one month at only $1 by visiting listping.com. In today's episode, I'm going to cover motivational tactic number three. I'm also going to share with you a tool called Go to My PC, and we'll conclude with your unbusy place and how to find that. So let's get started. It's now time for our Buck the System segment. In this segment, we take a look at real life examples in which people buck the system to produce extraordinary results or fail to buck the system and produce subpar results. Now, today it's a little bit different. I want to continue in this segment under something I call the Motivational Tactics Series. We've taken a look at two motivational tactics previously. Today is number three, motivational tactic number three, and it's called Personal Deadlines. Now, Parkinson's Law says that the work that you have will expand to fill the time available, meaning that if you have a presentation that's due, say, four weeks from now, chances are you're going to stretch that presentation out for four weeks until the night before when that deadline arises, right? And you're cramming the night before. You're so busy because you have to get that presentation done for the next day when, whoa, you had four weeks. Where did that go, right? So the key here, motivational tactic number three, is to set personal deadlines and to set those deadlines at a different rate, right? At the rate that's going to keep you motivated and fit in with your schedule so that you don't, you're not cramming yourself with a whole bunch of stuff and putting un, undue busyness on top of yourself. Now, some people would look at these as false deadlines and they say, oh, they don't work because I know in the back of my mind it's not a real deadline. That's where the mindset shift has to occur. You must shift your mind to think about those personal deadlines as sacred, as the deadlines that you are managing your day and your week and your month to. So you almost have this, this double level of deadlines. You have the personal deadlines and then the real deadlines, and you need to shift your mindset so that you're always working at the personal deadline level. If you can do that effectively, you'll see a marked difference and improvement in the level of busyness. You remove a lot of the busyness from your life and start to work your way to joining the ranks of the unbusy. Mom, mom, look, see where, See where it says create new? It's right underneath where it says Google Docs. Click right on the arrow, the arrow that comes down that says create new. Right, right, right. Just click there. Okay, now select spreadsheet. No, you have to you have to click it. No, 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 no. You have to click it and then hover the mouse, like move the mouse down over. You'll see document, spreadsheet, uh, presentation, spreadsheet. Cl click spreadsheet right, right there. What? No, you just need to click it once. No, just, uh, oh, mom, I gotta go, I gotta go, bye. Uh, sorry about that. Does, have, you ever, have you ever been in a situation where you're trying to work with somebody remotely in a long, long distance? You know, I love my mom, but you know what? We get to work, my brothers and I, we get to work with her quite often on the uh, computer side of things. She's got some awesome websites. Uh, that you know we've helped her build and uh, I'm sure you run into people just like this all the time that you love them to pieces but they're a little bit technologically challenged right and I don't mean that in a bad way because it's just a generational difference here's the thing I want you to take a look at this tool called go to my PC it's something that we were able to set up and that phone call right there yeah that was contrived that was made up but, and you know what I never have to do that again because now I simply log in to my mom's computer or one of my brothers does, we fix it on the spot, can show her exactly what we need to do. So take a look at this little tool. Now go to my PC allows you to access other Mac or PC computers from anywhere around the globe. For me personally, this has enabled myself and my brothers to be able to assist my mom, who's an awesome businesswoman, we love her to death, but from a technological standpoint, we spent a lot of time on the phone walking her through how to do things. 
by leveraging and jumping on board with go to my PC, it is literally cut hours down to minutes because we're able to hop on her computer to move the mouse on her side. So not only can we uh, complete things on her behalf, but she can watch as we're moving things around and setting or configuring things on websites or scripts or whatever's necessary so that she can learn how to actually uh, do the same types of tasks and then do it herself the next time. So go to my PC. It has a 30-day trial. Uh, both the Mac and PC does uh, work. And um, you know, inside, once you're inside your account, you can see here uh, that you can connect uh, different types of computers. So you can see here, uh, you know, we have a PAM laptop and a store desktop, and you can uh, enable a different quantity of computers depending on the program that you sign up for. So definitely want to invite you right now, if you have any need for remote uh, type desktop applications to help somebody in your family or from a business perspective, this will very much help your productivity to be able to hop on somebody else's computer and take it over. Literally take over their computer and do it yourself to train and show them. So go to my PC. Highly recommend that you take a peek right now. So welcome back folks. I hope you enjoyed the go to my PC. That segment of productivity sucks. If you enjoyed that segment, feel free to visit busyness.com and look for many more episodes of Productivity Sucks just like that where we share websites, software, tools, and applications that help your productivity to not suck. I'd also like to know about your experience with GoToMyPC or any similar uh, productivity tools. If you've used it, scroll down and tell me. I'd love to hear your comments. It's now time for the segment that I call All BS. This is a segment in which it's all Brad Semp. And I basically get to spout off about whatever I'd like to spout off about. And today I want to talk about something. I call it the unbusy place. I have an unbusy place. And I know you have at least one unbusy place. Even if you're not sure what that means. Let's dive into it. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take you right now out my back door and check out my number one unbusy place. So come on, follow me. So I'd like to welcome you to my backyard. As you can see, it's a golf course here. And this is my, what I call my unbusy place. And the question to you is, what is your unbusy place? And really to answer that, what we have to think about first and answer first is what is an unbusy place? Now, an unbusy place is a place in which you can get away. You can open up your mind and you can stop to think about all of the day-to-day -day distractions and all the day-to-day -day challenges that you have on your plate and have on your mind. It's a place that you can get lost for hours upon hours and really forget about what you have going on in your day. For me, it's the golf course. This is the opportunity for me to get away for two hours, say for a, a nine holes or maybe four to five hours for 18 holes. And for those two to four or five hours, I am simply thinking about nothing else than golf. It's an awesome, awesome refresher for me to get away and to get re-energized and refocused uh, when I come back. So the golf course for me is my unbusy place. Question for you is, where is your unbusy place? Welcome back from my backyard. Thanks for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed that concept about your unbusy place. Now, I'm sure that you have an unbusy place, whether you've thought about it or not. If you haven't, Now's the time to do so. And I'd love for you to share with me what your unbusy place is. Feel free to scroll down and comment below, and I'd love to hear from you and talk with you, engage with you there. In any of the segments that we produce on the Business TV Show, I'd love to hear from you, hear your thoughts, your comments, the good and the bad. So feel free, scroll down and comment. That concludes this episode of the Business TV Show for this week, and I'd like to welcome you back each and every week, every Thursday, for a new episode of the show and remind you to look us up on Facebook at Busyness TV, on Twitter at Busyness TV, or to register for show notifications by visiting busyness.com 
and entering your email address where you can also pick up a copy of our Busyness Manifesto or go to iTunes and subscribe to our video podcast. So with that, I'm Dr. Brad Semp. I'd like to thank you again for watching this episode of the Busyness TV show. I look forward to seeing you again right here next week. Take care. Bye-bye.